cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. A compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. You ready to leave? Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but... If you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay, smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Returning to assignment captain. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. Sure everything will turn out just... <sighs> Am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place. 
but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm the sending... Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. You're not wrong. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. You really believe that, don't you? That's family business. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe we can work something out. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if I get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. 
Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Hey, if they're willing to trade, all the better. But the Shawgang is a uh, shoot-first kind of outfit. All right, time's wasted. Let's get to that cave. Dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Sometimes I just want to go to the bad guys and go around. You make it through is a victory in my book. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people here cold and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, <laughs> he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Cora, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. I could, uh, really like bend your ear when you got a moment. I ain't afraid of anything. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Uh, that's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestar Rangers. Had a partner, Lillian Hearts. Well, we were like fire and ice, but uh, well, it wasn't all bad. If anything, I think she should be jealous of you. Ah, maybe some other time I'll get into the whole Lillian chapter. She's one of their top rangers, so they keep her in the field a lot. That's how she likes it. It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, Little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. You said it's none of your business what I do with Cora. You know us both, though. Better than anybody. I know she takes after me, but maybe too much. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but is she gonna fall into the same traps? That's really reassuring. I do the best I can by her. I know it seems crazy towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir.
I'll think about it. But for now, she's happy. You know, she just goes on and on about you. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. I'm working hard, Yeah, sorry Captain. if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Oh, don't worry, you're in a category all your own. What was I? But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I mentioned the idea you had about maybe Cora staying with Lillian if things got too dangerous. Suddenly, she was all excuses. She's always going on that she doesn't see Cora enough. And then I try to take her up on that, and yeah, fireworks. Well, you are getting one very biased half of it. I'm sure her friends feel the same about me. And Lillian loves that girl fierce. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. You are just too damn wise for your own good. Well, something to think about. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Well, how non-committal of you. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, right? I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur, too. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. It makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, you know, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better 
Let me guess, you'd be a lot better if you had a bigger book allowance. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> right. Right. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. And the pay? Well, it paid for my apartment, but that's about all I can say for it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. <laughs> you think? So, uh... More jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Yeah. But it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs dual cannons and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. That should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. <laughs> yeah, well... I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. Anyway. And then... Dependable and straight as an arrow... Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well... It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot, fast. But the thing that scares me, it's Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this... This is why Lillian is... Something else. And I know you're right. I I need to let her into Cora's life. 
in a big way. I just need to get up the nerve to talk with her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. I, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I... Well, I just feel a little more... at peace. A little more... whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. My early years, they, uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. You better believe it. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in government, and he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. You know me too well, but I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. Imagining you around back then, let's just say you would have been, uh, distracting. But I had a point, <laughs> if I could remember it, even after I was with the Rangers. Dad was just always needling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class in manipulation. Yeah, but she's only 12, and... <laughs> well, I see what you did there. If I just flat out say no, I'm a hypocrite, right? <sighs> I guess I got more to think about. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her. For me. Thank Cora. you for talking to me. Cora. I got so something what's so important super that you needed important. Us. Something's wrong with Mom. Are you just figuring this out? No. She's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you write each other? Focus. We need to find Mom. You believe me, right? Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Thanks. You being willing to do this, it means a lot. Bring all your guns and armor and stuff. It's going to get serious. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. Mom's got to be okay. She's just got to.
I don't know if I can ever live in a place like this. Way too visit. Welcome back. Listen, uh, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Co? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Oh, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here then? That's going to be a problem. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam? About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that? It's Cora, right? I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. So, this is official business. Sorry, that's different. I haven't heard from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one, and was playing it really close to the best. Feel free to search her desk, maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. I was following procedure. You know how it is, right? Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. So good luck. Hopefully, you won't need it. something so she had a confidential informant huh an address of Lillian's confidential informant what's a confidential informant a snitch someone that works for bad people but is helping the authorities on the side well looks like we have a lead no name but an address works shall we and the field trip continues now be careful Cora Not the best neighborhood. Door's locked. Well, yeah. You'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. <laughs> what? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna give her tips now. Thought I was supposed to be the bad influence here. But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. You really think so? Maybe I need to start looking for uh, daycare or something. When things get tough, like you were saying. Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. 
We'll stay away from this. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean Mom... Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in, uh, it's not some milk run. Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound, some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. <sighs> My thoughts exactly. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No! The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. If Mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Do you hear that? It's not just me that's worried about you. I promise. I'll be careful. You'll see. All right. Let's go find your mother. The Syndicate is bad. So bad. She's got to be okay. Touchdown. Can you give me a second? I still know some Ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, are you there? Please respond. Hart here. Acknowledged. And frequency secured. Sam? Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? Not the time or place. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. <sighs> Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam, if even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt... We are 110% on the same page. Comms out. All right. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? If Lillian is worried, oh boy, come drop. Take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. I am not kidding. 
This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. Whew. Oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. I knew something was wrong.
We got company, I think. the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your time is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. I can't wait to put this place behind me. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter, the Duma. I know it's itinerary, but I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss, Valerie Mascara. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. 
Thank you. We know where the cache is now. I know the top Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out.
<laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. You look well. Colored glory. I don't know what would happen if it'll work cash to work with the alarm alarm. about you a lot too. I still can't believe you brought her with you. I, well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. He did? Well, if there were any con... Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Huh? Another time.
It's over. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. For now, I swear the bad guys never sleep. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, all right? Thank you. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt, or killed, or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. I'll keep her safe. You know I will, right? I know you try your very best. But what Constellation does? There's so much risk. I don't agree with your decision. I don't think I ever will. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this... It has to stop. Like, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian... I don't know if what we had was ever... love. But we used to like each other. We need to get back to at, at least being civil. For Cora's sake. I promise I'll try. I can too. If we were gonna be really honest here, Sam, Cora and you, we were always together, back when we were a team. Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just fell out of it, long before we separated. Lillian, I, um... Uh... No. No, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um... Sorry, alright? Thank you. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Ah, uh, that does make sense. Uh, maybe, maybe you can have Cora for a vacation or something. You gotta have, like, years of shore leave banked. Oh god, thank you. Thank you. And Lillian... You know I care for you, right? But you and me... I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, lots of someones, that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Actually, I know a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh my, you're... you're terrible. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... you're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. Well, maybe not the best. 
I think rather highly of myself and uh, a few others. <laughs> I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you and have our own real talk, okay? And maybe figure out a way to repay you. Wonderful as living worlds are, look out for credit. Thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. I can personally attest that the sculptor didn't skimp on the materials. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. Lillian and I, we're never meant for each other. But it's good to have her back as a mother to Cora. It's great, even. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sensing a theme. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh, you. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. Makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. I'm the luckiest man I know then. Sincerely. When we met originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. But, uh... You know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. Well, I, um... You, uh... <laughs> I'm a little lost for words. I, mean, I figured we had something. Some chemistry. Some very real chemistry. I, uh... Whew, wow. I came out of nowhere. This is a big step. A huge step. If we do this, I want you to know I want the whole package. <laughs> Candlelight dinners, walks on the beach, the whole kit and caboodle. You... You want that too, right? Oh, and you're gonna get it. You are the single best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. And later on, maybe I'll show you just that much.
Heaven is having a smooth running ship. Ever since we've started being a couple, things have been going well. Like, really well. But at a certain point, um, Cora, we, we gotta make sure Cora's all right with this. Wait, wait, you're not off the hook on this. I'm not sure how much you've talked with Cora, but I think you should. Hey, if you're happy with what we have right now, you don't have to. But if we get much more serious, I need to know Cora's on board. Ah, don't worry about it, she doesn't bite. Well, not anymore. Hey, if you need something, happy. Sorry to see you go. Is mining on the schedule today? Is there? Mom says later this year we... Good. I've been wanting to ask you something too. Me first. Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. I know. I mean, anyone around the two of you knows that. What are your intentions with my father? Good. Just so you know, I like you too. Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? You're very welcome. Do you need So how'd the Tarva Cora go? Her blessing. Huh. <laughs> Cora and her Jane Austen novels. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know, luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well, finding you feels like uh, destiny. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. Well, you gotta know, I'm crazy about you. And, well, how do you see this playing out? How do you do that? Right when I think I've got it all figured out, you just rock my world again. In the very best way. I mean, I hoped, maybe even prayed, you mean it, right? Yes. I mean, hell yes. <laughs> well, apparently we're having a ceremony. Anytime you're ready, head over to Aquila City. Figure it's about time to make some genuine good memories at the Coa State. Can't wait. Talking, you're rough. I get a city is always helping. The 
Apparently, we're having a ceremony today. Although right now, it's just me and the mayor cooling our heels here. Jacob, it's a special day. This always happens. No, this is my son and his usual sloppiness. Sure, that's it. Listen, you know, I know. Hell, the neighbors know my son and I don't always get along. I do care about him. He's blood. And he gave me Cora. But the way he looks at you, you, you have a chance at real happiness together. So, uh, thank you. What? Well, I... Uh, I guess you're right. After the ceremony, it looks like I get to have Cora for a little bit. I don't know if you had anything to do with Sam doing that. But if you did, you have no idea what it means to me. We always do. Awkward small talk over. Lillian Hart should have arrived at the starport. Might be nice if someone went to meet her. And better fetch Cora, too. She's exploring the city. Which means she's at Sinclair's bookstore because she's, well, Cora. that's picking me up? Nice to see you in a less life-threatening situation. Happy to be here. Just to let you know, this shouldn't be awkward. Sam and I were never meant for each other, and we both moved on from whatever we had. Some unsolicited advice. Be there for him. All the way. He and Cora deserve that. Glad to hear it. I know the way to the Co estate. Meet you there. is like the best in the galaxy. I had to drop by. Oh, hi! I got a new book. Charles Dickens. Fiction. Great expectations. Not related to today. Or is it? <laughs> what time is it? Shit! Oh, sorry. Swear. I lost track of time. I wasn't hiding. I told Grandpa where I was. I, uh, think I did, at least. No, I totally did. I want to let you know I'm okay with this. The ceremony? Dad is Dad, but he's lonely and you make him happy. And I like your ship loads. Oh, and you, too, of course. It's way better than Dad's. But I guess it'll be our ship now? And it'll be part mine. Oh, oh, oh! I am going to claim a section to be officially Cora's thinking spot. I'll get to the estate right away. Thank you. You, my dear. Feel free to read. here. You ready to start the shindig? Okay, I'll let Mr. Cartwright know. Welcome, everyone. 
One of my favorite duties as mayor is to preside over joyous occasions like this. Couples like yourselves, full of love and affection and eager to share a life together. Well, it's a blessing. Oh, we're a blessing now. Mayor's laying it on real thick, ain't he? <laughs> I had mine with a side of delicious anticipation. Ahem. <clears throat> Sam, have you prepared any vows? Oh, right. Um, here goes. Um, life comes easy for some folks. They get most things right the first time. But uh, that has never, ever been me. But this time, I know I got it right. Because of you. I know you've had a tough life, too. But we really are the lucky ones. There are a million, billion stars out there. To find anything that really matters is kind of a miracle. And as the good mayor says, I'm truly blessed because I have you in my life. Sweetheart. Look at our galaxy. I understand you wanted a moment here, Sam? I never met someone who knew me, the real me, and still wanted to be with me. I want you to have this. It's my Free Star Ranger badge. Looking back, I'm grateful. Because every step and every misstep brought me closer to you. That's <clears throat> very touching. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the power vested in me from the Articles of Confederation, I officially, and quite happily, declare you life mates. Let me be the first to congratulate you both. You are a sight to behold. The only time I've been this serious, not even close. Another day in paradise. What time to get back? We have choice accommodations. Welcome to the Hotel Vola. I think you'll be pleased. <laughs> My hotel. No miracle. Just, but that's a story. So, I've got one with your. Are you planning on. Please enjoy your stay. for tomorrow night. I've got some ideas. Oh, we're done? I could go for round four. Uh, last night, totally worth the bruise. Uh, you are... Got that thing with the legs and the arm. Uh, I could get very, very used to this. Uh, right here with you. It's a little patch of heaven. Oh, we're done? I could go for round four. Last night was truly something. Oh, right here with you, it's a little patch of heaven. Love you make every day special. Every minute with you is a gift, truly. 
See, you make me sound like a greeting card. Say again? What? What are you going on about? The Lord knows we're dealing with some crazy shit, but we can get through it. Together. Listen, if you're breaking this off, know that it's broken for good. I need someone that'll always be there for me, and Cora too. If that's not you anymore, then let me know. Don't draw this out. Just... Just leave me alone. Go.